hey hi hello welcome to another video in this video i'll be showing you how to decrease your reload time by half for some scenarios using optimized key vd reloads here in the normal scenario here you can see right what we are trying to do is we are trying to uh, filter this data based upon the only the urgent records the prior uh, wherever the order priority is urgent okay we are trying to load that and let's see how much time it takes this changes are saved so let's load me now So if it would have been an optimized QVD reload, right? So you would have seen an optimized QVD reload uh, written here, but as it is not, so you are not able to see it. So here you can see we got our result in one minute, 16 seconds. Okay. Now let's quickly do an exit script here so that we get fair results when we do optimized reload. Okay, here within the script, what changes I have done is right. So I'm I'm uh, building a table here, which has only values for uh, which has a column for order priority, and it has the value urgent. Okay, and then I'm using var exist function here on our main table to filter out only the data where we have order priority as urgent. Okay, so um, so let's see what results we get how, within how much time this reload would complete. So if we saw that a reload completed in one minute, 16 seconds. So let's see here how much time it, this would take. So here, as you can see, we are getting a QVD row based optimized reload, right? So now ClickSense is doing optimized reload. So this should be comparatively faster compared to what results we got in our previous one. So let's see if this would be able to complete in half the time. So here you can see we completed the reload in 32 seconds, which is more than half of which is more than half of our previous reload. So so let's understand what we did here to get this optimized reload and how you can get QVD optimized reloads whenever you reload for most of your scenarios, right? To get the optimized QVD reload, right? What you need to make sure is whenever you doing a, a load of a direct QVD, right? Data from the direct QVD. You need to make sure if you want to perform any kind of wire, right? That should be exist. And then you can do an alias. Okay. Uh, alias is not a problem. If you are doing an alias, it won't. Uh, if you are doing an alias, it's fine. It would still be an optimized reload, but you can't create a new column. Okay. Like if you are trying to build a new uh, column based upon any kind of uh, functions and all, it won't be an optimized load right and uh, it would be then considered as a normal reload by click since i hope that is clear that's all on this video if you learn something new make sure you hit on the like button for more interesting videos like this make sure you subscribe until next time have a good time